This is an instructional video on how to set a Bermad model 430 pressure sustaining valve for irrigation. For the purpose of this video, the flow is running from left to right. The three-way PCX pilot is sustaining the pressure on the upstream side. And the purpose of the valve is to sustain the pressure on the upstream side, so to hold the pump back on the curve. So, when we're setting the valve, we need to follow the following instructions. The first thing we have to do is to ensure there's no entrapped air on the cover of the valve. So the first thing we do is we turn the three-way tap to the closed position, which applies water to the chamber of the valve. If we briefly turn the three-way tap to the open port, we release a little bit of water, turn it back to the closed port, return back to the open port briefly, then turn back to the closed port. Now you continue to do that until such time all of the entrapped air has been released from the cover and the water flowing has no entrapped air in it. The next thing we have to do is we have to go to the pressure sustaining pilot and turn the adjustment bolt clockwise fully. So we're pushing the bolt all the way down. Now what we have to do with the irrigation is to open up greater number of irrigation shifts than we normally have in a normal irrigation sequence. In other words, we want the, the demand in the field to be greater than what the pump can produce. So once we've opened up four irrigation shifts, we normally operate two, it's time to set the valve. We now turn the three-way tap to the auto port and we start the pump. We can see now when we start the pump that the pressure has now risen to a high value. We have next to zero on the downstream side. And slowly, we turn the adjustment bolt anti-clockwise. And as we do this, we see water venting out through the vent. And we see the sustained upstream pressure starting to reduce. So we continue slowly to turn the bolt anti-clockwise. We continually see water venting out through the bottom. And we do this until we achieve the desired pressure. In this instance, we'll make it 400 kPa. We've now reached the target pressure of 400 kPa. We'll see the water has virtually now stopping to vent. It's achieved that value. So what we do is we tighten the lock nut. And now we have set the pressure sustaining valve to hold the pump back on the curve. You can shut the irrigation shifts down and now it's time to go back to normal operation. If you require further information on the valve, you can go to our website to get operational manuals on bermad.com.au. Thank you for watching.